Hi there folks, so I'm Jem and this is my first attempt at making a fishing video when I'm out and about. I've just come down to Pevensey Bay today to see what's around, just having a little look down at the sea there. It's just low tide at the minute, sand still exposed when I got here, it's just starting to get covered up now. I reckon there'll be a few whiting about, of course. <laughs> But really, my main reason for coming out today is to try out this new reel. This is the Tronics Pro Banzai Mono Mag reel that's just come out. Uh, it's got a lovely one-piece cage, and I'm going to see how I get on with it. I haven't even cast it yet. It's got brand new 0.37 Blaze green line on there with a Zenon tapered shock leader. And I've just stuck a little, oh, I think that's a four ounce hybrid lead from Shorecast on the end to have a few practice casts. And I've put this onto my, I think that's upside down for you, but it's the Tronics Pro Competition Performance Rod. It's just perfect for fishing the clean sandy beaches we've got around here. So yeah, let's give it a whack and see how we get on. Right folks, so this is literally going to be my first cast with this brand new reel. Let's see how it flies. fluffing up and it's gone a little way it was only a really gentle flick so in a minute I'll start winding a few more up to see how far we can go okay so second cast I've loosened off the mono mag a little bit and I'll loosen it off a bit more during the cast if it's all going well let's see how we get on putting my thumb on the spool so I've got a tiny bit of overrun here I'll just pull that out and get it back in and we can have a third chuck so after a couple of chucks with the four ounce lead I've now stuck on a 150 gram a little bit heavier hopefully get a bit more distance with this one so I get a bit more compression in the rod wish me luck There we go, that was a little bit further with the slightly heavier weight. Let's get that reel back in and on to another one. Cool, so casting practice over. Let's get a rig set up and I've got a few different rigs today. The first one I'm going to use is my whiting rig because I know there's going to be millions of them here. So what I'm going to do is get this off. This is a two hook flapper. It's got 18 inch snoods, um, 60 pounds in and rig body and I've got 42 pound blackout snoods slightly heavy line um, for a little rig but whiting do have sharp teeth and I'm pairing this up with a 5 ounce grip lead so I'll stick that on the fast clip at the bottom and we'll look at the rig so top snood there it's got one of these little glow balls on the snood it's just going to sit above the bait 1-0 Aberdeen hook and then the same with the bottom, bottom snoo is exactly the same 18 inches little glow ball so let's have a look at the worms I've got them in my little call bag here picked these up from Tony's Tackle on Monday, that was two days ago and they looked absolutely mint when I picked them up hopefully they've stored alright in the fridge so I'll stick one lug on each hook and that's still absolutely oops camera fail
is a tad windy here you probably can't tell but it is a bit breezy so I've just pulled the camera in a little bit to shelter it from that wind so two beautiful worms and I'm going to trim off the tails there we go and trim just a little bit off the other end now let's get the juices out now because these are lovely and fresh I'm hoping I can get away today without using any bait elastic so I'm going to thread them on the bait needle tail first there we go beautiful baits really good quality worms from Tony's Tackle in Eastbourne and we get this on on the hook there we go our globals just touching the top of the worm there and same for the bottom hook There we go, all baited up, we're ready to go. My hands a bit of a clean, so there we go. So I've got my second rod set up now. I've got my blue 7HT mag on here, and this is the Tronix Pro Competition Blackout, glass tipped rod, and I've got a two clip down rig on there, loaded with a couple of lugs. It's basically the same as my whiting rig but clip down just to get a little bit of extra distance. So let's see how we get on with this one. There's got to be some tings in the sea. Right, and rod's going. Little tap on there. Just pulling around a little bit. Let's get in and see what we've got on the end. They may not be big, but they are the target species. <laughs> so let's get these little chaps unhooked and chucked back and we'll get some more baits out there. So those two little whiting swam off well. Let's have a little look at my third rig before I get it chucked out. So I'll just get that here. This one is a two hook loop rig. That's about a probably 18, 20 inch snood on the top and same at the bottom. And where I've got that cascade swivel there, I've got a little one of those little mini clips holding the bottom hook on. And that's because if I catch flatfish, I like to use the through the gills method to unhook it. And the little cascade swivel doesn't pass through the gills very easily. So I can unclip the snood and just deal with a little bit of the bottom to pull that through the gills. That works really well. 
So we'll get this chucked out and see what we get. Time for a brew. Always in need of a cup of tea when I'm out fishing. You can't beat a nice hot fresh one. Definitely looking forward to this. Boiling away. Lovely and quick. Just what I need. The old pan stand out. There we go. That's why the tea's brewing. I'll get my food on. We have beans and sausages. Delicious. No toast, sadly. in there. Make sure that's nice and level. There we go. Put that back on. And we're off. Pop the lid on the top. Keep it nice and warm. Spoon at the ready, and these are going to cook through, heat up in no time at all. Oh, just what I need. Nice bit of warm food on a cold December day at the beach. Perfect. This is going to be the best meal ever, I promise you. You believe me? Yeah, I'm sure you do. Nearly there, nearly ready. Look at that. Mm. Turn that down a little bit. Sort out the rubbish before it starts blowing away. Think but that is just about ready. So we've had a catch and now we've had a cook. Beans and sausages for lunch. Delicious. What on? Well, it's been a bit manic, a lot of whiting as I thought, but we have a surprise. Little dab. So, not quite the size of the dabs I was catching in Norway, but a welcome change to the tings nonetheless. So I'll unhook this little chap and get him sent back. Way! Right on the left hand rod. Oh, it's getting exciting, it's going to be another whiting. Woohoo! If you've got kids who like fishing, it's definitely the time to bring them down the beach. Make sure you wrap them up warm so they don't get bored and cold. But plenty of whitings out here in the sea. Well folks, it's been a pretty hectic session down here at Pevensey today. Loads of whiting, pretty much all small. <coughs> and yeah, so time for me to pack up, head home 
and get the gear all cleaned up ready for next time. So I've been really happy using the new reel today, the Tronics Pro Banzai Mono Mag. It's behaved really well, whacking it out, propping it in close, no lifting on the cast. And when I've loosened the mags off during the cast, I just seem to be a bit quicker at putting my thumb on the spool because it runs so quick. Lovely smooth retrieve on it. So I'll definitely be bringing that out for my next session down here. Hope you've enjoyed my first video, well, first fishing video on the channel. Cheers, guys.